this is nice. All right, first things first, gonna go in here and get a hat. Now that's why I see multiple different types of hats, colors. All right, so they got multiple different types of hats. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Denver, Colorado, and today I'm visiting the Denver Zoo. This is a large 80 acre zoo. So uh, there's probably gonna be a whole lot of stuff to see and experience. I'm looking forward to it. I just got my hat at the gift shop. It was $25 plus tax. I rounded it up for conservation. So it was $28 total, which is about average what I pay for a hat. All right, so the zoo is still requiring advanced purchase of tickets. So I did that last night to make sure I had a proper entry time. So once I get past the entry point, I'm going to attempt to find a map. I don't know if they're giving out paper maps yet, but we'll find out. Our Safari Outfitters is where you would go to rent wheelchairs and strollers and electrical scooters. Uh, we got African Penguin Point right at the front. Uh, we got African Penguin. Right, so for the safety of all birds, temporarily off exhibit due to potential risk of bird flu. So this is the penguin's habitat. Won't be able to show them to you, unfortunately, but safety of the animals is more important. All right, so we got Predator Ridge. All right, so this habitat has different types of animals throughout the day. We've got African lion, spotted hyena, and African wild dog. This is the hyena. Yeah, there it goes. Well, when I want them to that, Wait, next time we can come here again. Me and my dad might go to the zoo. I can't go Only a nice size habitat for him. See a second one out now. Additional habitat. We just always go this way. All right, so the arrows in the one-way paths are not required now, but it's still a remnant of the pandemic. All right, so I found a map of Denver Zoo. I'm at the main entrance area. So I'm gonna follow the path to the right. Follow the arrows, basically, even though I don't necessarily have to, but it loops all the way around. That way I'll see everything. All right, we got Samaru Grill. Let's meet this building right here. So I'm gonna go inside and get me a beverage, see if they have any refillable bottles. All right, so this is our menu board. All right, I purchased a souvenir cup, only $6.29, which is pretty good. Refills $1.99. All right, cop jays, small worlds apart. All right, so the animals are inside because it says the signs here gone indoors till it's warmer. Just wanted to show you the nice habitat out here. Information on lions. Okay, right, gonna go inside the building. Hopefully, you'll see some lions. Look at West African dwarf crocodile. Oh, that's a nice looking habitat. Other side of the habitat. Isn't he cute? His name is Gino. Oh, we got Afghan pancake tortoise. And Sudan plated lizard. Oh, that's a nice habitat, also. It's a lizard. And pancake tortoise. I'm not seeing. Doesn't mean it's not in here. It's usually hiding underneath rocks. Got Afghan rock python. Nice habitat here. Oh wow. Trying to get a good view so uh you know, the reflection. It's a good sized snakey right there. Let's compare these carnivores between lion, spotted hyena, and African wild dog. This is 
this other portion or other view of the hyena habitat. It's like he's looking for the other hyena that was in there with him. At the water hole. So said those three animals shared this habitat, obviously not at the same time, but throughout the day the animals are moved. This is a another habitat. I'm trying to see if I see any animal in here. Oh my god! More information to spotted hyena. An African wild dog. Alright, so this area is right at the front. I will check back later. It says hyenas are hunters. Usually in packs. That's how they bring down the larger animals. So wild dogs and hyenas both use this space. This is that same habitat I was showing you from inside that I didn't see anything. So as I said, I will check back later. There we got West African Crown Crane. If not, it'll be out. Not sure. We got a Giranuk. That's the body. Like that guy's got a nice the habitat. The 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 a so yeah, I'm not seeing the crown crane. I don't expect to see any bird species today. Safety in animals is much more important. Oh, these guys are really cute. I don't believe I've ever seen him before in another zoo. If I have, I don't remember. Alright, I see the third one is out now. The other two are still laying down. Let's see where I'm at. Alright, we got Cape Buffalo. Boy. I see your Titan. How many are Yeah, me too. There is three. No. Nice. We got five of them in here. Yeah, we got lesser kudu. Like these guys also remind me of the bongo with the little white stripes on their sides. All right, African wild dog. This guy's got a nice habitat. All right, so the African wild dog are in the back. All sleeping together in a dog pile. I do love the colorations of these guys. Nice that I get to see them in their own habitat. And through here is Zoo Gardens Cafe. Alright, so I'm showing the map again. Let's see where am I at? Did you see where we're at? We're still in the Benson Predator Ridge area. Alright, so there is Vulture. This is that bird's habitat. Now again, they are off habitat temporarily. See how big their wingspan is. Now we got the animal hospital. Here's one of the surgery rooms or examination room. Another room. Some of the stuff that they do here. All the animals on the zoo are taken care of in this facility. Oh, 
All right, we got black rhinoceros. Most zoos have the white rhinoceros. Man, this guy's got a nice habitat right here. Saint petite feet. Really nice. Now we got Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep. Battle of the bighorns. The bighorns have very nice habitat. There is the second one. Other one again. Rocky Mountain goat. Got hooded capuchin. Alright, so these are hooded capuchin. Oh, wait, he's gone. Nope. This is a capuchin island. Settle them up on the rock. A couple just hop down. Cute little guys. There's several of the hooded capuchin in here. And they got lots of stuff to climb on. So there's a tunnel. You can see the concrete there. And the animals have the option to go to the island. Ready? Alrighty. The sign here says the tunnel is open, the captains can go to the island as they please, but sometimes they prefer to hang out in the cages here. So all three of these cage areas have that capuchins in them. They can all go between the three and the island as they please throughout the day. It's another penguin habitat. Also birds temporarily off habitat. We got a craft fine street food. And this is their menu board. And they come back here for lunch. This is the black rhino's evening habitat. All right, so I'm showing you the map again. The green pathway is the main paths, and the dotted lines in between them are little side paths. So I came over to this area to get a little better view of the rest of the habitat for the black rhinoceros. So I'm going to continue over past Monkey Island, what we already saw, and do this portion on the right hand side, and then go on the train. I see these birds all over the place. <laughs> All right, got this cool looking habitat. You now I got North American porcupine. Now I gotta try and find the porcupine. All right, I see the porcupine. So keep your hound dogs away from these things. Well, your puppy dog end up with a face full of quills. I kind of like he's scratching. I like this one's habitat right here. This is really nice looking. Oh, we got the brown bear. Third menu board. We got smoked turkey. Plenty of seating. All right, so showing you a map again, just so you see right where I'm at now. Before I continue on, I'm gonna go and do the Denver Zoo Railroad because I'm right by the train station and I'll continue on the path 
in the train station. All right, Denver Zoo Railroad. These are ride tickets are three dollars for non-members, two dollars for members. All right, here we go. On the train. Conservation carousel. All right, as you can see, the carousel has all the different animals we saw from the train, and she explained everything about the carousel. So pretty cool. Oh, I love all of the animal statues called Mother and Child. All right, so for the North American porcupine habitat, 
We're gonna follow the path around. Well, so it doesn't appear that this habitat is being used at the moment. Because there's no signage up and no animal out. All right, Cinerus vulture. This is what these guys look like. Because they are not gonna be out in the habitat. Now we got ringtail lemur. This is the ringtail lemur's outdoor habitat. And I don't see them right now. But I do see a sign saying if you don't see them outside, come inside the Emerald Forest. So we'll look in there once we get to it. Right, we're gonna see some wolves gunning. And a Brazos monkey. All right, so this is their habitat. And I do not currently see them out. So I will check back a little bit later. Because I can see their doorway for the indoor habitat is open. Is the animal's choice whether or not they want to be outside. All right, primate panorama. All right, just inside primate panorama, our restroom locations. All right, we got red rough lemur. Now I do see a person on the island here cleaning it up, getting it ready for the animals to come outside. So probably gonna see them inside. Got a black and white Columbus monkey. This is the Columbus monkey's outdoor habitat. Lots of stuff to climb on. Cool hammock. But the monkey is inside right now. Oh, they are so super fuzzy. He's inside part of the carrier. There we go. That's where its food is. We're going to go inside the jewels of the Emerald Forest building. So yes, red rough lemur are inside. Here we go. Oh wow. This guy's super fuzzy also. Super fuzzy. Yeah, so this is Lemur's indoor habitat. There we got an eye eye. It's the eye eye's habitat. There we got a southern Tamandura. Yeah, they got a really nice habitat. It's inside the bucket here. Having a nap. It's all cuddled up. Really cute. Oh, we got coconut lorikeet. Oh, nice. You have to get to see these birds because they are behind glass. So they are safe. Called a coppery titi. Oh, wow, I like this habitat. <laughs> see them in the back again. You guys like the blue boxes. I got some white faced sake and golden lion tamarin. Oh, it's in the box right there. Stick your head out. It's another one. So these are golden lion tamarins. So I don't see the white face sake just yet. Could be in that purple pail right there. But the tamarins are adorable. Got white front and mama set. Very nice habitat for these. Also, there we go. All right, see it right here. Golden Lion Tamarin. 
Back from the brink of extinction. There's a secondary habitat for the golden lion tamarin. So cute. We've got ringtail lemur and white headed brown lemur. Now, lemurs are going to be very difficult to see because you have the lighting off in the habitat. That's the reason why it is so dark in here. Yeah. And do you see one of the brown lemurs? Who said it's very difficult to, to see. The cell on the lemurs are here in the back. Go up on top here. So low lighting because of the eyes. We got primates of the night. So it's dark in here. It's all about the eye eye. This is very, very low light in here. And there's the eye eye. Speaking of eye eyes, my I eyes gotta adjust to the light. Oh, sorry. So the I I went into the cave or through the little doorway to its evening habitat. So I will check back. Hopefully get a little better view for you. Alright, we got some sea mang. This is a sea mang's habitat. Laying down. Much better view over here. Looking through the net rather than the reflective glass. It's quite comfortable. But yeah, these guys got all sorts of stuff to climb on. All right, showing you the rhinoceros hornbill image. All the animals, bird-wise, are off habitat. They're really cool looking. This is their habitat. The fruit eaters and the seed sowers. I see some mandrel. Like their habitat. I see two of them. Got a toy with him. And this is the second habitat for the mandrel. For the larger one. So yeah, unfortunately for us aviary is not open. You just really enjoy going through the aviaries looking at all the pretty birds. Hopefully you're back soon. All right, so showing the map again. You see where I'm at. I'm in Primate Panorama. You got Red River Hog. Feasting on the farm. Red River Hog's getting some lunch. Is this lunch or breakfast? Lunch. Lunch, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. So I'm watching on some green leaf. Oh, we got African crested porcupine. Really, really big, huge. Hey, that's bigger than the other one. Hey, porcupines, 
some lettuce right there. The sign for the African Crested Porcupine is not out for some reason. Really cool. All right, you can see the great apes. Got lowland gorilla. Oh, right, we're gonna see some silverback gorillas. So they have a very good sized habitat. Got some lettuce and some celery. Yeah, once time for the animals. Very nice. Lowland gorillas indoor habitat. Alright, we got orangutan. It's orangutan's indoor habitat. Do you see one of them up there? That's a box, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Got the younger one up there. Just swinging all around. <laughs> the third one. And then it's you can right. go to the okay, to go inside. Um, the two that I have. Oh, if you leave the bee alone, the bee will leave you alone. I'm sorry. We're studying the great apes. He came out point of view. Got primate evolution. Orangutan society. It's a side view of the orangutan's outdoor habitat. Got a black handed spider monkey. Really, really nice. I know. I saw. I killed them. There's a second one up in a tree. Anyway, the spider monkeys have all sorts of stuff to climb on. Nice hammock. This is a secondary habitat. A couple more over here. Just saw the second one a moment ago. Oh, there's the other one. It moved before I even noticed it. Moved. Nice long tail. Alright, so Primate Panorama entrance and exit is the same place. So I'm back on the main trail. Gonna head to the left next. Alright, so the lower key landing is not open, so they are taking the opportunity to renovate the roof. Just like all the other birds, not currently available because of the avian flu. If it's not one thing, it's another. All right, nature trail is also not open. All right, there's another aviary. Normally home to the Andean condor. I've had a chance to see these birds in some other zoos, and they are fantastic. So this is what they look like. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show it yet live. 
That bird does have a nice habitat. And there'd be the bald eagle. I'm sure almost everyone's seen bald eagles before. As it'd be the bald eagle's habitat. So even with the aviaries not being open, there's still plenty to see and enjoy here at the Denver Zoo. I am not entirely sure when the birds will be back on habitat. I would recommend checking uh, the Denver Zoo's website for more information on that as I'm not from the area. Still be able to see the flamingos, which I'm happy about. All right, we got Chilean flamingo and American flamingo. They are both in here. This is why we get to see them because they are behind glass. So that they are safe. This is their indoor habitat. Yeah. Got lots of food pellets in the water. Even more. Got a whole new area under construction. Again, check their website for more information. All right, so showing the map again. You see where I'm at? I'm right here. So the land down under is what the new area they are building will be. So we saw everything on this side. Gonna move around around this area, continue the path around, see all the stuff here, and that'll eventually bring us back to the main entrance. So still lots to see. Well, we got Llama Landing. Llamas. <laughs> all right, these llamas are called Fernando and George. This is the other side view of the llamas. All right, so this is a mixed-use habitat. The greater one-horned rhinoceros, the alien tapir, and Asian elephant. One of the Asian elephants in here. Now we got my land tapir. Alright, so this is the Malayan Tapers habitat. And I see two of them. Got the panda bear colorations. Alright, so showing you the map. We're checking out the Toyota Elephant Passage. And I'll be able to see more of the Benson Predator Ridge. All right, we got River Hippopotamus. Here we go, River Hippopotamus. Hey, quit your coat. That's a good sized hippopotamus. Oh yeah, and the hippopotamus has lots of dry area also to be in, but of course they guys like to be in the water for the most part. All right, elephant passage. All right, we got Adax. Got a male and a female looks like, and they got a nice size habitat. The male's got those cool curvy horns. Really nice. No, I guess northern white cheek gibbon. So the gibbons have all this space to move around. 
to go across the ropes onto this island here. Alright. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? They're right there. Up on the tree. Nice. Kind of scratching. These guys got really long arms. And they can swing across these ropes really, really easily. Alright, welcome to the Cheng Pao Wildlife Preserve. Alrighty, trunk packed with features. We got bathing beauties. And soccer than it looks. Another view of the habitat for the elephant. This is the other view of the Asian elephant. All right, greater one horn rhinoceros. There's two of them in here. Here we go, a lot better view. Check out this Asian elephant skull. That is a huge skull. Got lots more information here. For those of you that enjoy reading all of the information. So I try my best to get everything in focus for you guys that like to read all the information. Do you like all of the water features? All connects underneath the bridge and into the, all the different habitats. It's not me. All right, Saurus Crane. Again, all this is their habitat. So if you are lucky enough to be here when all of the birds are out, you know what to look for. You know, more information on elephants, big appetite. Sorry about the hind end. All right, getting to go inside the elephant house. So this is the elephant's indoor habitat area. All right, keeping cool. Got two of the bull elephants over in this area. Ah, uh, that one on the right is giant. I've never seen such a tall elephant before. It's more standard size right here. So all the fuss about muffs. Oh wow, this guy's almost mammoth size. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a big elephant. For an Asian elephant especially, because African elephants are even larger. But that is a huge elephant. Alright, got this nice elephant statue. Alright, cluttered leopard. Cluttered leopard's habitat. Another side view. Our leopard's up in its box. Unfortunately, yeah, because of the dots on the glass, the closer I get, the more the camera wants to focus on that. Beautiful animal. Our religious beliefs protecting elephants. This is Ganesh, the Hindu god. This additional habitat for the elephant. So yes, yeah, so the two male elephants are separated from the female elephant. Because the female elephant is ovulating and uh, you know, if you're old enough to know what that means, then I'm not going to explain it. 
It's the elephant bridge. Got two other elephants over here. And you can um, uh, tell if the one's a male. <laughs> Alright, so showing you the map again. I do like that they have maps all over the place. Make it easier to find out where I am. So I am right here. I just took this path right around. So we're back here. Can I check out some of the more of the animals that are in Predator Ridge? Then we'll continue down the path. All right, one of my favorite zoo animal, Bongo. This is the Bongo habitat, and I see three of them in here. One over here in the shade. One of them in the back. This looks like the male with those big horns. Now we've got Eastern Mountain Bongo. This is the Eastern Mountain Bongo's habitat. And I do see them in the back here. So I guess this is a subspecies of the bongo. All right, we got red kangaroo. Is that the object? Go. So I'm sure these guys will move once a new area is opened up. Got an emu in here also. So I don't see a sign for the emu. But I've seen these birds so many times. Lemu, is that you? Where's Doug? I know that was corny. A Vietnamese pot belly pig. The scientist is out for a walk. Check back soon. So Vietnamese pot belly pig are not in this habitat. Oh, we got Somali wild ass. Also known as a donkey. So I wonder if this guy is a smart ass or a dumb ass. Guess we'll never know. Nice habitat though. A better view of these other two elephants. Oh, there you go. That's nice. The water for the elephants. So elephants have a lot of space throughout the different areas of the habitat. All right, we got a copy. I see two of them in here. There's the second one. What it again? But they got a lot of room to roam around. Alright, so the Predator Ridge, see all the animals are in separate habitats. See the lighter green, and then the little bit darker green is in individual habitats. That's what I've been showing you along the way. Alright, so this area does have restroom locations. Then we got Kamala Cafe. This is the Kamala Cafe menu board. We got the McGrath Family Amphitheater. Got animal demonstrations. So this is the amphitheater. Get good seating. Oh, we got some yellowback duiker. And of course, the busy and ground hornbill will not be on habitat. 
So this is additional habitat for the acopy. But you do see the yellow back to occur. Are you in? The cute animals. You had the 40 theater. This is additional upcharge. This is the 40 theater. Pricing. Few owls non members, members only two dollars. Alright, you got some Prezawalski horse. And they got a good size habitat. There we go, there's one of them. There's four of them in here now that I can see. At the only other place I've seen these horse were at the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C. So this is only the second time I've seen these horse. In a zoo, I mean. Alright, we got Bactrian camels, or two hump camels. Says the camel habitat. There we go. I think, I think it's... They're filled with fluid. So Padme, it's a 19 year old Bactrian camel. So she is under veterinary care. Here is a second camel. Cool horse head fill. All right, so be sure you get behind the 40 theater to see the Bactrian camel and the horse. There's a path right behind it.